Hi guys, it's me. <laughs> Welcome back. Hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. I just wanted to show you all the lovely hat that HOA got for me. I really like it. I had a lot of fun with my family. My mom came over and uh, we had a great time. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time with your families if you were able to be with them. And I hope all the fur baby moms had a great Mother's Day too. So let me go take this off and put my apron on and we will get started. Okay. Let's get started. Uh, today we're going to be doing another 24 by 36. I love this size. I really think that it gives me a lot of freedom to play and stretch things out and open things up and really see what's in between all the layers, which I really, really love. So 24 by 36 from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put the push pins in. Let's get that out of the way for a second and I will show you my colors. I have a very exciting palette tonight. Okay, first of all, these are my leftover paints from Galaxy Far Far Away, which was our May the 4th Be With You collaboration, mini collab that we did with Massey Art Studio. And I've, I had like, you know, half a quarter of a cup of each of these colors, so I just mixed them all together and put some Floetrol in it. This was um, the Antique Copper from Treasure Gold. There was just a little bit of that, and there was some Dioxazine Purple, and there was, I believe it was Anthroquinone Blue but it actually turned into a really pretty, sparkly, gorgeous color. So this is thinner than all the rest of these. I have two cups of this to use as a base coat flow extender. The next one we're using is Golden's Permanent Maroon, which is such a pretty color. Very, very pretty. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and the paint and the Floetrol. And this is not super, super thick because I do want it to be able to stretch and roll and cover up a 24 by 36. The next one we're using is my Pink Tourmaline. This is Folk Arts Pink Tourmaline from Extreme Sheen. Where's my bottle? Here it is. Cool stuff. I really love this one. And I think this is going to do great things with the um, maroon. Okay, so that's the Pink Tourmaline. So this is the 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. And this one is a tiny bit thicker than everything else because I don't want it to get lost. I don't want just a sheen on the surface. I actually do want to see ribbons of the gold in there. Okay, the next one we have is another Folk Art Treasure Gold series. This one is Fire Opal, which is just an amazing color. Very, very pretty. So when I put the Floetrol in there, something very interesting happened, and I actually thought I was mixing up the pink tourmaline for a second because it started to look very pinky versus that very orangey, so I thought that was interesting. It will dry more like this than pink, so that's okay. Okay, and last but not least, we are using one of my Artie's colors that my lovely friend Fiona sent to me from Slovenia. This is Indigo, and it's beautiful, nice and deep and dark and luscious. So that's cool. Okay, what we're gonna be doing today, like we did in Galaxy Far, Far Away, was a, a straight pour across the canvas, so a wandering straight pour. I think I'm going to put my hair up. All right, so let's layer a cup. This is a 24 by 36. For that size canvas, we need 30 ounces of paint, 31 ounces of paint. So filling this up twice should do the trick. Uh, we are going to go across once, though, and see how we do if we even need more or not, but I think we will. Okay, so what do we want to start? Let's start with some of that permanent maroon. Oh, those birds are loud today. <laughs> I'll put a puddle of the pre permanent maroon in there. You need to close the door. No. And some pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline. And some gold. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go with the indigo. Such a pretty color. And I think I want to put, okay, now we're going to use the fire opal in there. I'm going to go back to the maroon. And let's put some gold in this time. Light dark, light dark when you're layering your cup. Switch it up and put some more indigo there first. And then we can come back to the pink tourmaline. And 
extra layer of the maroon in. And another layer of the fire opal. I think I want to put a little bit more indigo on top of that. Okay. So that's one cup ready to go. So let's see. That's a 24 by 36. Okay. We're going to put down like a runway of gold again. And we're going to go across the canvas. As you see, I have not thinned this out at all. It's the same consistency as everything else. Okay. Stretch that. Just a touch. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Is you? Okay, here we go. We're going to do a wandering straight pour. Again, just a little bit more, maybe just about half of it, not the whole thing. I'm actually going to start with the indigo this time. And I'm going to go right into that fire opal. this one like on this side a little bit and on this side a little bit and then we'll put down some slow extender. That looks amazing. I love this. It's so pretty. Okay, we're going to start from about here and go that way. Ready? Yep. thinned out. What we're going to use is our base coat, or our flow extender. Let's get nice and thin. I'm not leaving a mound on a mound, just sinking. Alright, we're going to go around this. <laughs> this has the treasure gold uh, antique copper in it. There was just a little bit left, but that's giving that thioxazine purple and anthroquinone blue a beautiful sparkle. Okay, let's 
spread that out real quick. have a lot of gold in it. You're getting a lot of gold cells through the middle there. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. You seem to have a lot of paint right here, so let's come down off of this edge first. Because I like all those gold cells. I kind of want to keep them. I love So pretty. Okay, ready? So we're going to go that way first. Just walk it down the canvas nice and slow. Evenly come off of this side and go down that way. Okay. Okay, I'm bring this back to center just a little bit. towards the center again. See those gold cells moving. extender and I'm just going to put a little bit more over here. Because that's what the flow extender is for. So that my paint doesn't roll over itself and eat the composition. So now we get to keep that little bit that's there on that corner which is beautiful. Down to the edge. Okay. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit towards the center. Okay, so I like all of this stuff that's happening up here. The only thing I'm not loving is this purple right there. So I do want to tilt this down a little bit and I want to get some of that corner off also. Okay, so we're going to take the weight back down to the middle. Wow, these cells are so cool. And we're going to let this roll straight down and get that purple off and some of that solid maroon off. And open this all up too. There goes the purple. There's some of the maroon. Okay. Down off of that corner too, since we're there. Okay. Wow, this is so neat. Okay. Now we're gonna take this back down to the center again. 
shrink that cave <laughs> that's happened somehow. That's looking pretty neat. What do you think, Joy? I think it's awesome. What do you think Very of that? Very interesting. Cave part in there. Uh, I don't see a cave. I can see that. Right no, no, I see what you're talking about, but it doesn't look like a cave to me. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't stress about it? Nope. Can you get those cells on that left side because they're like pink tourmaline and gold? <laughs> and where the gold mixed with the indigo and it's giving us that kind of army greenish sort of color. But it still looks really awesome. Right, I'm going to wipe my hands off because I'm dying to point things at. <laughs> I don't want to drip. cells popping through. I love the maroon with that fire opal underneath it. I love that same thing right here. That's the fire opal mixing with the maroon and the gold on either side. I love these cells. I love this whole part is really, really pretty. Only thing I'm not crazy about is this very solid strip of maroon, but I'm not going to stress about it. Okay, I'm going to torch it again. So that's kind of cool. I'm happy. What say you, HOA? Keep messing with it or leave it alone? I think I'm just gonna leave it okay. because anything that I'm gonna do uh, that I do would then alter this part and make the rest of it look different, and I don't want to do that right now. I can I can deal with it, and I love that indigo around there, and it's actually cool because I want to see that fire opal by itself, and I like seeing the maroon by itself too, okay. and I love this part. Okay, this is awesome. I will show you guys this one on Lawrence Try. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Have a beautiful day.